Yeah, you're right, guys and girls. Welcome back to this interesting topic debate. Thursday, 10th of January. It's 12 o'clock now. Um, so, Thursday, yeah, so Thursday, 10th of January, 2019. And it's 12.01. I've just come back from watching Skyscraper. A bloody brilliant film, by the way, guys and girls. Now, I want to do a little bit of a topic debate as long as my bloody camera stays bloody straight for this episode right so anyway so where is the fine line between copyrights and sharing videos with friends family or maybe like a sort of a multiplayer sort of thing like uh, set right so basically I've got this app this VR cinema sort of um, scope where you're in a virtual reality headset, you wear the headset, you put it on, you put say a film on or something and then you go into a room and you watch it with loads of people. Now this is on Steam, this is the, uh, it's, a bit, it's a bit like Showcase but a lot better than Showcase. Uh, this is the, it's sort of like a movie cinema but it's a multiplayer as well, so it's an interactive movie um, chat rooms, well, you could name it anything you want, you could talk anything about anything, you could have movies going on, you could have your desktop showing and all that kind of stuff. Now I saw this on Steam and I gave it a little bit of a try, I've done some topics on it yesterday about it and this is the uh, big screen VR, it's on um, Steam, fantastic app. Now. I went on it just to test it out and see what people were getting up to and they were watching movies in there, they were sharing it. Now, the whole aspect of it is the whole sort of community sharing videos, films and uh, latest films that have come out or maybe stuff like that. Now, where's the fine line between copyrights and sharing? They, they can, they, there seems there's a sort of a grey area between like you sharing a video with your family members and then sharing a film maybe with a community but on a private network so you've got your own like little community going now i was um went into this a lobby yesterday with this one guy and he reckons there's a lot of people out there in certain lobbies on there which do um, that uh, not fit for work sort of uh, dash thing where they put it on and make it an 18s only. So they do all this pornography stuff in there. Not my cup of tea, to be honest, guys and girls. I don't like that kind of shit, to be honest. But that's them. They can do whatever they want. In, especially if they've got the lobbies closed down and they've got adults only in there. So that's fair dues. That's fair dues to them. But there's a sort of a grey area, a grey line. And I want you guys and girls to explain it to me. Or have your opinion about it. And you'll say. Now, if you're in a virtual reality cinema. Now, if you go to a cinema, you're paying for to watch a film. You're actually paying the directors. You're paying the film actors. You're paying the lightning crew. You're paying all the graphics designers. Everything, everyone... Who was involved in that picture in that film they get that percentage now say if I got my blu-ray film and I put it on there on this a virtual cinema and I'm watching it with a bunch of my friends because uh, my, my friends are on the internet and say I want to say like put it on the internet not on the internet internet but in a like sort of a room so you can um, have it with your friends now the good thing is I want some apps at some point where you could go on the Xbox, go into the chat room, uh, where the party chat, and have a video thing on it where you could share what you're watching or your desktop or uh, of your Xbox One or your PlayStation. This would be a sort of a the most epic community sort of get together in a long time. Think if they did say a cross platform between PlayStation and Xbox. If you put a Blu-ray film in and you go into a, a party and you can actually live stream that movie to all your friends in there and they can watch it. It does lag though. I've noticed when I go to these uh, rooms and the people are live streaming on uh, Steam and they're live streaming a movie. Sometimes it lags. It's because it's on a private network, peer-to-peer uh, -peer and 